short, forward, go shorter. <laughs> okay, tell me if he's ready. So this is my presentation on Henry Ford, who started the Ford Motor Company and invented the assembly line. So he was born July 30th, um, 1863 in Michigan, eight miles away from Detroit. He was born in the middle of the Civil War, so Abraham Lincoln was the president at the time, and Jefferson Davis was the president of the South. Okay, he moved to Detroit um, later on in his life, so like once he was able to live by himself. So I mean, 18, when he was like 18, or he moved to Detroit and found working in the machine shops. So he found he was actually really good at like building things and working on carriages and stuff like that. Um, three years later, he moved back um, to the farm, um, which is where he was born with his family, eight miles out of Detroit, outside of Detroit. After nine years, um, he moved back to Detroit, but in those nine years, he had gotten married to a lady that lived in, like, the farm next to theirs, so, um, yeah, he moved back a married man, nine years, so, at this point, he's, like, 30 years old or something, when he became, uh, he was the chief electrician for the, um, ele local electric, um, uh, electrical company, which meant, he was on call to go answer anything um, that had to happen, but he never actually had to be at the office. So if anybody had a problem with electricity, he would go and fix it, but he never actually had to be at an office. So he had like a ton of time to himself. Like, so he did a bunch of experiments. So. Kind of like a quarantine. Yeah, he was essentially always on quarantine. Let's start inventing things. <laughs> yes. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, so during experiments while on his self-quarantine, I guess we'll call it. <laughs> on his, uh, during his experiments, he created a gas motor that could like spin a wheel and axle. Um, so he had been experimenting with the idea of a horseless carriage. Um, he wanted to know if that was possible when he was able to do it. So his first car was a Ford quadricycle. It had four horsepower, so not very Wait, fast. what did the Ford cars now, what horsepower do they have? Probably negative 10. <laughs> negative 10? No, they're actually really good. They probably have like 75 horsepower. I don't know how much a truck has, but it's much more than four. It didn't go very fast. And I think it only went forward. Mother. I don't think it. <laughs> Ford's not very good cars. Yep. Josh, be quiet. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, his first, so the Ford quadricycle, I think it only went forward. Um, it had four horsepower, but it was great because now people didn't have to carry horses around um they could drive the car themselves so he continued experimenting with other kinds of motors wanted to see if he could figure something that was a little bit more efficient and so during that time he invented the ford motor company so their entire purpose was to create cars so at this point he quit his job as the head electrician and started to work full-time on developing cars trying to make them so that they were more efficient, cheaper, so that more people could buy them, meaning he would make more money. He created the Model T, which was probably the first car you will see. I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. He created the Model T um, as he created the moving assembly line. So the moving assembly line, so this was in 1913, so I can't remember when I said he was born, but he's like... Uh, he's in his 50s or something when he did it. So moving assembly lines so everything gets much more um, efficient. And then people that worked against him also started to use his tactics with the assembly line. So the Model T is the f um, first horse's carriage that you would see often on the streets because he used his assembly line to mass produce it, make it cheaper, um, easier to make. So I mean... Really, the assembly line was the key to getting everything mass produced, getting everything out there. So when he created the assembly line, it's when you put something on a moving conveyor belt and one person will do each thing. So I have an example. It's Josh puts brownie mix in a bowl, okay? Bennett takes the mixer and will mix it. Mom works the oven. She would put the brownie mix that had been mixed by Bennett into the oven. And take it out. I would top it and then give it to Dad, who would eat it all. <laughs> you know who's great in this presentation? <laughs> I like it. Um, 
So the <laughs> assembly line, it just made everything so much more efficient rather than Josh trying to do everything by himself and then I have something else going. But it's, it's Josh's just... brownie baking show. <laughs> <laughs> you made an assembly It only line. works you with you Josh. Have, you have employees now. <laughs> yeah, you have employees. I'm just not doing <laughs> so. It just made everything more efficient. You could be doing multiple things at once. So everything was much easier. So that's my presentation on Henry Ford. That was fantastic. And then I have some Henry Ford jokes. So the first one is, did you know that 98% of Fords are still on the road today? The other 2% made it home. <laughs> <laughs> and then changing the logo, logo doesn't change the problem. Oh, why do you not like Fords? <laughs> New Fords will come stock with these. It has a cup, a beer holder, and a seat. So you can sit comfortably while waiting for the tow truck. <laughs> Could have bought a Ford, but like, uh, but I like trucks that run. I wish I had, had a Toyota on there, but that's my presentation. Does anybody have any questions? Did you know about the assembly line prior to doing this project? I did. Yes. We learned that he in was... history class. Yeah, we learned that in history class. I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. Good, Good job. job. That was excellent. Good job. Way to go.